After working for nine years as a design director in branding, Vancouver native Jackie K. Ellis packed her bags and moved to Paris to pursue her passion for pastry. On returning home, she founded the award-winning bakery Bucou, which led to her becoming a judge on Iron Chef Canada and finally writing her best-selling memoir, The Measure of My Powers. In 2018, she purchased and renovated her Parisian apartment, where we are today, to find out about her interior style inspirations and what makes her feel at home. You know what I love is a classic traditional contrasted with modern and it fe has to feel cozy and comfortable it can't feel too austere uh, and it needs to feel livable a place where you feel like you want to spend days in that's my style i have a, a design philosophy which is um, if you're going to have something in your space it's a little bit Mary Kondo, but like if you're going to have something in your space, make sure that there's something about it that really inspires you or gives you some sort of joy or makes you stop and go, ha, huh, you're so beautiful. And so with this space, I decided unless there's some incredible amount of practical practicality about it that I can't forego, it needs to be inspiring to me. And I think it that energy of that creates a space. So I'd say like every single thing in here has a little bit of that. So in this home, I spent a lot of time on Le Bon Coin because there are so many beautiful things. Like for example, my bed was from Le Bon Coin and I find a lot of people just don't want this stuff that they deem as old because their grandparents had it. So I love finding things there. Also brocantes and, and flea markets, I buy tons of stuff there. Where else do I go? I don't know, I kind of scour. Ooh, one brand I love is Astier de Villette. They are so whimsical and they use, um, their whole philosophy is just like really beautiful. They use clay that's actually sculptor's clay, but instead they use it for dishes and, and things like that. So it's got this more rough, rustic texture. Morning routine. I wake up. I obviously I wake up. I wake up and then I usually open my phone, check Instagram and text messages because most of my friends are abroad. And then I set a morning intention. So I set an intention for the day. What is it that I want to focus on? What do I want to learn? Uh, and then I journal for about an hour. Uh, I make coffee, I get back into bed, and then I usually watch YouTube clips or like, <laughs> or Instagram things. Uh, then I usually take a long bath, uh, or I go for a run. Um, yeah, so it's all self-care stuff. What do I do to relax? I love being in the company of my good friends. For me, that's the most relaxing thing is when you can spend time with people and you're just laughing the entire time uh, over, you know, glasses of wine and that's what I do. huge stack of books that I read 25% of and then they go onto my nightstand and then I sort of go back to them six months later. <laughs> Wine, coffee, ooh, commis, hands down. Okay, right now I'm reading Seed of the Soul, which is very, very good. Um, and I'm, I'm also uh, reading The Four Seasons, which is about the founder of the Four Seasons Isidore Sharp, so that's very good too. <laughs>